Hey guys, so today we're making some chicken pot pie. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So we're gonna start by sauteing some chicken. I'm using some uh, chicken thighs, so I just cut those into bite-sized pieces. Drizzled some olive oil in the skillet, and now I'm gonna season my chicken. Make sure you season your food. You can season it to your taste. Just make sure your food is not bland. We don't want no bland food, y'all. Or you could also buy like a roasted chicken or a rotisserie chicken from the store. That would make this dish so much easier, but I had some chicken thighs in my freezer, so I decided to use them. Next, I'm putting in some onions, bell peppers, and celery. This is totally optional. I had some of this already cut up in my fridge, so you know how I go. If you got it, you might as well use it, so I put it in here. Um, and then now I am going to work on the sauce. So I'm adding in four tablespoons of butter. I'm using dairy-free butter or margarine. Um, and then I'm going in with one fourth cup of flour. And you're gonna cook this for about one minute or so just to cook the flour taste out. And then you're gonna add four cups of chicken broth. And you wanna make sure that you add it in slowly and whisk it in so that you do not get any lumps. Next, I'm going to stir in about a half of a cup of dairy free milk. And I always say this I have a child with allergies, so I'm making this allergy friendly today, but you can use whole milk or heavy cream or whatever you have in your fridge and you want to make sure you season this we want to season every layer of our food and then so this didn't get as thick as i needed it to so i'm going to make a cornstarch slurry and then you're going to stir that up and let it come to a simmer and that is it for the sauce this was super easy and so i'm just adding in some peas and carrots about a cup or so or you can use mixed vegetables if you want. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle in maybe about a teaspoon of uh, thyme. And, and then we're gonna work on getting our crust together. So I'm using a cast iron skillet for this recipe and you wanna make sure that you grease whatever pan you're using. Um, I'm using store-bought crust today, um, but you can make a homemade crust if you want. Check out my apple hand pie recipe if you want to make a homemade crust. And so I'm using two of these and I'm just gonna roll them together because my skillet is kind of big. And then I'm going to place it in the bottom of my skillet once I roll it out. I'm just gonna do the same thing for the top crust. I'm adding in uh, two of the pie crusts and I'm gonna roll them together. So I needed two boxes of the store-bought pie crust for my skillet. And then I'm just gonna add in the filling and then put the crust on top. And then you're gonna seal the edges by pinching them together and making you know those pretty little designs on the end. But <laughs> I did not do so well with that. So I need to work on that. And I'm just brushing some butter on top because I cannot use egg due to an egg allergy. And then I'm sprinkling some uh, parsley and some black pepper and bake it in a 375 degree oven for about 40 minutes. But check your food, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Bye.